He's a tennis prodigy, the likes of which we haven't seen before in these parts. There's never been a Matt Gamble before. What's it like to be able to do something better than just about everybody else? I mean, it's kind of cool. I don't, I mean, I guess I don't think of it that way. I just think of, like, working really hard and just playing tennis, so. That's... Has it made you a different person, though? I mean, that you have this thing that you always fall back on and are great at? Yeah, I mean, I guess it does for sure make me unique, but um, I just like playing tennis and just like working hard and playing, so that's just how I think of it. Um, I remember he came in and, and he was a little tiny guy, but he's grown up physically. Um, he's kind of a daunting athletic specimen now. He, he really has done a lot of work with strength training, um, and I guess in terms of, and, and that's it for physical growth, in terms of his growth on the court, it's funny to watch a kid that used to be a little bit temperamental when he goes through and plays to be now the kid that's really calm, cool, collected, even in the most stressful situations, even when I'm not. Gamble is a senior wrapping up a career like none other. Four sectional championships, five super sectional titles, back-to-back -back state crowns. He currently owns a 130 match win streak. Do those wins do you much good? I mean, are there things that you can grab from all of those that make you a better player? I mean, I, if you if you want to work on stuff for sure, then every match you can just work on doing something a little bit better. Um, so that's, yeah, just what I've been trying to do every high school match. Prodigies, the likes of Gamble, as often as not, abandon high school athletics for a more full-time pursuit of a professional career. Gamble could have, but didn't. I mean, I love going to school. I have just kind of wanted to be like a normal kid going to school as opposed to just doing the Florida Academy or like the Foreign Academy. Yeah. So um, I think just being in the school atmosphere, being like kind of a normal kid, I guess, is what I wanted to do. This, this team had never made it to the finals, much less two in a row for team events before he came along. And he only accounts for one out of the seven points. So anytime that people try to tell you you're only winning because of him, understand he's controlling, you know, less than less than 20% of the overall score of the match, no matter how convincingly he wins. But just being here, you say he's, he's made the other guys better. He is a very natural and quiet leader. He goes through and starts practice every day. He fires up and finds ways to play against all of the kids on the team. And when there's something that needs to be adjusted that I don't see, he's the first one to come over and let me know during a meet that something needs to change or to go through and correct stuff that's not happening that should be happening at practice. Next year, Gamble will be taking his swings at Notre Dame. As a freshman, he will already own national ranking. He'll probably be remembered here more than he was appreciated. And that's okay with him. Legacy-wise, you know, we're talking about guys that haven't done this kind of thing before. Uh, what, what's it like to have kind of a, a unique little corner in history here in Section 5? It's Yeah, it's super, super cool. Um, obviously, in seventh grade, I didn't think that I would be, like, as a senior and having this opportunity to do this kind of stuff. But, um, yeah, I love it. It's awesome. What's the, th what's the thing that mo that's most important to you that you've accomplished with these last, what, five, six years? Um, probably... My junior year states title was my most was my biggest moment for me in high school, which would be topped if you can nail down a third, right? Yeah, for sure, for sure.